hope you guys are doing well. We are back with another What's Sold. Um, on this one, uh, one thing I want to say is you will see some pool filters and stuff sell. The price that they sold for when I sold them, which is about, I don't know, seven weeks back or something, we're slowly getting caught up, guys, but we're not there yet. Uh, the price has really gone up right now, being in total summer mode, and they're selling for even better. So had I actually a price adjusted, I could have made a little bit more money when I listed them. I listed them in like the fall of last year, so the prices had kind of started to slowly come down. And I priced them at that price and didn't think to go back and check them. So just keep that in mind. Always reprice or comp stuff out before you list it. Don't just trust what you heard in my video or anyone's video for that matter. Um, but I hope everyone is doing well. I just finished editing this video, so hopefully there's some good stuff in there. Uh, there's one really cool item, the big TV that sold, so that's really really cool i love selling something unique that um you know goes for pretty good money so hopefully you guys enjoy that if you have any questions please let me know and i will see you guys in the next video. hey everyone we are back with the what sold for this is actually for thursday and part of friday friday morning i ended up grabbing a bunch of stuff i didn't pack anything up thursday night so i went there friday morning and grabbed a couple of sales as well um, i don't have much time so we're going to move pretty quickly here one thing i do want to take a little bit of time for that was harry potter and the sorcerer's stone this is a first american edition so you can actually open up the book and right here at the bottom you'll see first american edition if you list one of these and show a picture of that and put it's a first american edition they actually sell really well by themselves this sold in about 12 hours for 35 shipped i played i paid 3.99 at savers for this and got 35 shipped it still goes media mail so look out for those harry potters you can get the whole set and sell them that way but if you just happen to find the sorcerer's stone the first one and it's a first american edition you should be able to get the lowest they'll ever go for is around 25 for me but usually i can get around 35 shipped for them if the condition's good uh, here's a vhs this is from the rock and roll buy if i can get it open oh man it's called Fear, Anxiety, and Depression, I believe is what it's called. It's supposed to be like a dark comedy, I think. I didn't do too much research on it. This tape is in rough shape, though. It's got the um, Sharpie on it. You can see the sticker on there. And it comes in just a generic, uh, like a plastic case. I still got 40 shipped for this. It's a really rare DVD. If you have it in the slip cover, I think someone got 80 shipped with a little cardboard sleeve over there. But um, I ended up taking 40 bucks. Again, it's from the Rock and Roll deal. Here is an old tie. I don't really mess around with ties too much. It's a... The kind of equestrian one it sold for eight dollars shipped i probably paid a buck for that it's gonna go first class wouldn't really buy that again plus the picture is really old you'll be able to tell not that good this is from the discount store i paid five bucks plus tax for this it's an expired in 2019 hp 64 combo sold for 29 shipped in about three days so pretty good this is a sony remote here this is a pretty valuable one if you look it's an nsg mr1 i paid 3.99 at savers uh, plus tax but i think i got 20 percent off um, this was tested and it works, and it sold for like 75 or 85 ship, which is really good for a remote control, so a pretty good deal there. Here's some more of the pool stuff. These are two of the last five filters. I have three left, but they're not even listed. They all have kind of damage to the packaging. I'm going to lot them all together and sell them like that, but these two sold for 30 shipped. I paid 70 bucks, I think, for all the pool filters and the covers, and we'll see some covers later. And we've sold out of almost everything. A couple of DVDs, Dark Shadow, sold for 20 shipped. This was, I think, a couple bucks at Goodwill, so a pretty good deal there. Um, this is from the Rock and Roll by Tom Dowd and the Language of Music DVD. This one sold for 43 ships, so an awesome deal there. An Xbox uh, remote, the DVD and the remote, the little thing you put in the front of the Xbox to watch, the original Xbox to watch DVDs. That sold for like 12 ships, so it took a while to sell, but I always list them if I can find them because they will end up selling. Here's a cut code knife block. I think it's called the home homemaker one or something like that it's a pretty large one lots of slots this one was five bucks at a thrift store and ended up selling for 70 shipped probably took a couple months it is a little beat up it's not perfect shape but these always seem to sell well uh some cds this one is from the rock and roll by kaifanes i don't know sold for 12 shipped right there brown eyed soul i think sold for 14 shipped uh war this is from a different cd by these three war cds Whoops, I just knocked over some games. They sold for 22 shipped. And then these also from a different buy, two crisscross CDs. They sold for 20 shipped. Let me grab these games. These are two PS1 games that sold. Uh, not really super desirable ones, but Soviet Strike sold for $7.99. And Need for Speed of Things sold for $13.99, $12.99, something like that. This is a pretty cool item, this uh, realistic electronic kaleidoscope. It does work. I'm not going to take it out of the box because it's all safely packed in there, but... Hopefully you'll see on the screen, and it kind of makes designs like this when it's on. 
this was part of a big bulk buy from um, storage unit guy we paid 450 for everything that day it came with a bunch of electron tubes some old board games two of these I actually have two of these and it also came with this big pearl cooler and then kind of the, all the other oddball stuff and i took a best offer of 120 shipped on one of these this is a big bucket full of like yarn i guess for different kinds of crafting stuff i paid i want to say 10 bucks for all this at a garage sale this whole big box is full and it sold for 100 shipped it's a little heavy probably i'll go fedex but honestly still a good deal even if it cost me 25 to ship it we're still going to make some good money there two summer wave pool covers these are from the big pool buy uh, i list these um in box open box and the box has damage because some of them had different forms of damage this one's a little bit better but this one is open and it's got a little kind of increase uh, crease to the front there these sold for 45 shipped they're originally 30 bucks but they sold for 45 shipped they're heavier but we usually don't pay too much for them probably no more than 14 bucks so we might walk away with 20 20 something bucks per um one of these again we spent 70 bucks and we got seven of these ones one of the small ones and we got like 16 filters so we did okay there it was definitely a pretty good buy uh, a couple of books from the rock and roll buy the petra song book this one was cool because the last sold prices were like five and six bucks but none were listed so i listed mine for 14.99 and it sold within like two weeks so pretty good deal there and then this iron maiden anthology i think sold for 16 bucks or something which was towards the higher end too for salts and then lastly, um, these are some DC men's shoes. Um, it's not like the greatest brand or anything, but for whatever reason, when I get the, the men's DC shoes in a decent size, they always seem to sell. You can tell they're not in perfect shape, but they still sold for like 47 ships. So maybe someone just really liked the style or had these shoes and wanted to get them again, but 47 shipped. Um, the bottoms look pretty good. There's not too much heel wear or anything like that. But um, 47 ship for a pair of shoes like this is an amazing deal. And I usually list my shoes high, so that way I can take lower offers. That's kind of the way I do it. But someone came through and paid full price. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Take care. Hey everyone, we're back with another What Sold for the Weekend. Quite a bit here, so let's get into it. Uh, first off, Miami Hurricanes, the U. This is an, um, an awesome like pro player jacket. This came in a big storage unit guy buy, and this one ended up selling for 100 shipped. The best part about it was I had just gone back and forth with someone for like 80 shipped on it in an offer, and they ended up not accepting it, and then someone bought it for a full price, 100 bucks. So Miami Hurricane stuff always seems to sell pretty well, so look out for that. And we sold a Panasonic TV with the uh, VHS built in. This was $7.50 in the States, so that was half off that day, so $15 down to $7.50. does come with the... Uh, manual and there is a remote uh, which is right here does work test it out both the tv and the vhs part work this ended up selling for 200 shipped it's going to cost quite a bit it's going to florida but it'll probably cost 60 or 70 to ship but we'll still probably make about 100 bucks once we get it all going so pretty good deal there but definitely if you're not comfortable shipping something big and heavy i would recommend not doing this and make sure you get signature confirmation probably and at the very least make sure you insure it uh, martha stewart craft punch set this was, I think, four bucks at Savers. Ended up selling for 20 shipped. Not a great deal. It's going to go in a pad of flat rate. Here's one of the manuals from the big $500 manual buy. This is a Mazda whoops, 323 Protege workshop manual. This one sold for 20 shipped. Wasn't really that desirable, but still 20 shipped. It's going to cost like three bucks to ship it media mail, maybe four. These were also from the manual buy. It's five 1975 Ford car shop manuals. It's like the electrical, the engine, the chassis, the bodies. And there's one other one, I think maintenance and lubricant or whatever. Um, this one sold for 40 ship. Not that desirable. If it would have been the 75 truck, probably would have gone for like 100 bucks. But the car one went for 40 shipped. Sold my last three pool filters. These ones all had either openings in the seal or they have damage where like they're kind of crushed. It's, a, it's three sets of three. Um, they ended up selling for 39 ship and they sold in like one day. So I'm all out of pool filters. Um, this is a Ronco, like a rotisserie. Um, insert here it goes in the center of the Ronco rotisserie machine just kind of snaps in there like that uh, I parted this machine out and then these sold for 32 shipped they're actually pretty light but they'll probably go just right over a pound we'll bubble wrap them and get them packed up here is a uh, Bart Simpson Wilton cake pan this one was I think two bucks um, at a garage sale I bought like five pans I think for ten bucks something like that this is the last one to sell or the last one left and ended up selling for 15 shipped goes first class best way to pack these bubble wrap them and then put them in a poly miller to save on the shipping uh there's a little virtual pets 
this sold for 25 shipped i've had it forever it's like a neopet but i guess it's like a kind of an off-brand one um, this one was from 2006 but it sold for 25 shipped this is a little space jam toy and this little monster comes out of here i'm not going to pull him out because he's kind of a pain to get him back in but this one sold for 15 shipped it was just a toy that was in a big bag that i had bought and i looked them up and there actually were no listings but i figured someone would want it for being a space jam item here is a teletubby Poe, I think is the name, that whatever the red one is. This one sold for 18 ship. It goes first class. Um, these always sell, and if you can get a whole set of them, you can do really well, but people always end up buying them, especially the ones that talk. This is something pe most people would have probably not pick up. It's a little um, ice pack, so you fill it with water and you can freeze it. This is one of the big ones that goes inside of the larger coolers. This one ended up selling for like 30 ship. I think I paid a dollar or two for it in the state sale, and I, this is my second one that I've ever sold, but they sell for right around 30 shipped. Okay, this is one of those. The last one I have, it's this little module. Um, it's like a little clock module. You guys have seen me sell these. I found one more and ended up selling for 20 shipped. I have no idea what they go for. I just put the part number in eBay and made a listing and all of six or seven of them, or no, 10 of them actually sold for 20 each. One person bought six at one time. Video game stuff, a little Game Shark for PlayStation sold for 15 shipped. Tiger Healy or Heli sold for uh, nine shipped for the Nintendo. This is from the Rock and Roll by the Trans Siberian Orchestra Beethoven Last Night. This is a CD set. There's two CDs sold for 45 shipped. So a good deal there. Here's some Tokyo Pop Manga. I forgot what the name is. Maharomatic or something like that. These ones were five bucks at a garage sale, or five or six bucks, and they sold for 35 shipped. It took a long time for them to sell. Uh, Fragments of Faith book. This was in a big box of books that I bought for 10 bucks. There were no listings really to comp it out, but it ended up selling for 18 shipped. Here's a C.S. Lewis, The Great Divorce book. This sold for 9 shipped. That's also from the Rock and Roll Buy. And this is a Nissan Sentra 2016 owner's manual. Uh, it also has like some other stuff you would get to put in your dashboard, or not your dash, in your glove box and stuff, the little case. This whole set, I think I paid with this and I got a license plate cover, like insert thing. Uh, I paid 5 bucks for both, and this piece alone sold for 27 shipped. Another little book set. This was three bucks. Bad Kitty by Bruel, Nick Bruel, I guess. There's a bunch of these books. They were three bucks. I thought they would do a little better. They finally sold for 15 chip, but they're going media mail, so not too bad there. Another uh, Radio Shack TRS-80 um, four color, color plotter paper. I had six of these. You guys may have seen it in the video. I sold a, three or four of them now. This one sent a best offer out of 20 bucks, and someone took it. All it is is a little paper to put in a little. Uh, matrix printer i think is what it is um these sold for 20 shipped and they just go on a padded flat rate i got two left so hopefully they'll sell uh, a lot of people have bought them in groups of two this was the first person to only buy one at a time a dvd from the rock and roll by jane fonda nine to five it actually is sealed but the outside cover is kind of jacked uh, this one sold for 12 shipped hanna barbera this is a like a bunch of old um, cartoons or whatever i guess on one dvd this one sold for like 15 or 16 ships so a good deal Dynasty Warriors 3 always sells, sold for 10 shipped, and you don't know Jack, this sold for like $5.99 or $6.99, not a great one, um, I don't even know why I listed it, but it ended up selling. Here is an, oh well, I think is what is the brand, it's a uh, Nativity Mary uh, piece, it doesn't have a little sticker on the bottom, it, this one didn't have it, but all the other ones are from, it's O apostrophe W-E-L-L. -L. You can see she's in pretty good shape, a couple little scuffs and stuff, but she ended up selling for... 30 shipped I believe a lot of times with nativity sets if you don't have them complete or you don't want to sell the whole set as one big you know item and pack it up and ship it you can actually part them out and people will buy the replacement pieces because sometimes there's break or whatever so 30 shipped on her this is a military issue cleaning kit by Otis this one sold for 80 shipped it is brand new you can see it's still sealed uh, but 80 shipped on that three halo figures from the $1600 lego and toy buy uh, there's Master Chief, there is an Elite there, and then there's a Grunt right here. Um, they're all actually like new inside, but the packaging has all come separate from the cardboard. These I took a best offer of $62.50 on. Here's a little Farberware insert. This is what um, kind of holds the uh, heating element, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. This is off the mini Farberware. This one sold for just 10 shipped. It's going to go first class, but it's an easy little piece to pack up. We have a um, Franklin Mint chess piece this is from the uh, jupiter set it's like uh 
kind of ancient Greece, I guess, type stuff. Uh, this one ended up selling for 50 shipped. I have one left. I had six of these, and they've all sold. Just people buy them, I guess, some of their pieces break or whatever, and they'll go and buy a replacement one. Here's a Halo Mega Blocks uh, set right here, also from the $1,600 buy. This one has a, it's a damaged box there, but it sold for 32 shipped. The set number is 96925. Right here is a Bazooka Bill. Um, it's a floppy game. It doesn't have the manual that comes inside, but it does have the floppy. This one I sold for 19 shipped. I've, I do really well with these old PC games that are floppy, or um, even some of the old disc-based ones. For whatever reason, people some people collect rare, unique ones, so it's worth looking out for if you can get them for cheap. And lastly, four Road Warrior, Mad Max Road Warrior figures. You can see this one right here. We got that one right there. And those two. These were also part of the $1,600 toy and Lego buy. Um, these ones that I've had for a while now listed. They listed them right away. I thought they would sell. They were listed at $150. I finally took a best offer of $100 shipped. Probably will cost like $18 to ship them out FedEx once I get them boxed up. They're not that heavy, but they need a lot of bubble and stuff to protect them. But happy to get rid of them. I think they're going international to Australia as well. So happy with the global shipping sale there. So that's it for right now, guys. I will see you in the next clip if anything sells. Take care. Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We're back with the final few sales from the weekend. This is like a, um American flag by Antigua shirt right here. It's got like the Olympic logo on the front. Um, this one ended up selling for like 30-something shipped, I think. Pretty high. I figured someone would want it maybe around like July 4th or something, but it sold earlier than that. But happy to get rid of it. I think I paid like 3 or 4 bucks for it at a thrift store. Um, this, it's hard to see with the glare there, but it's a Nike um, pullover. Uh, that's actually just something on the bag. It's not actually on the the jacket. Got a huge Nike spelled on the back. This all 55 shipped. I think I paid $7.99 for this at the thrift store, but I knew it would sell for right around that 40 plus mark. But I ended up someone made a really high offer on it, and I accepted it. This is a Paul McCartney DVD set from the Rock and Roll Buy. This one ended up selling for like 32 ships, so a good deal there. And this is an old Bible, a um, master guide to the scripture. You can see it's really beat up. Um, still took a best offer of 28 shipped on this guy. I think I paid two bucks at an estate sale. Um, I don't usually buy Bibles that are kind of really ratted like this, but I had looked this one up while I was there, and there were some that were selling, so I ended up um, picking it up, and obviously someone was interested in it. It's a cool-looking Bible, but I don't want to sell something that's fallen too much apart unless it has some value, and this one did. So 28 shipped on that, and we'll get them packed up and out of here. Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for watching uh, the video with all the what sold. Hopefully you guys found some cool stuff in there, but... I did have a question that I wanted to address. I, I'll pop the question on the screen with who asked it, but the question was involving used DVDs, and I'm going to extrapolate a little bit on that, but I'm into video games and stuff as well, CDs. They had advice that they, they may not pick them up if they're used because of testing them and all that stuff, and they asked if I test all my stuff, and the answer to that is definitely not. Um, to test every DVD and truly watch it in full to make sure there's no issue where it skips or anything like that would be quite burdensome time-wise and probably wouldn't be worth it. Um, same with video games. To play a video game and play through it enough to make sure there's no issue potentially where it's going to, um, you know, freeze or something like that, it would be hard to tell. So if the disc is, obviously if there's no scratches and it looks like it's in perfect shape, I assume that it works. And it is a big assumption and I run the risk of someone getting it and not working. That happens. But I take that risk and move forward. Um, if there are a little bit of scratches, and in my experience, that seems to be not an issue. They seem to be very faint, nothing too deep, nothing serious, then yeah, I might also list it that it, uh, it works. If it's got something more serious, then I'm most likely going to have to test it or not even list it. If it's a lower dollar item, I'm not going to list it in that condition. But if it's a higher dollar, more valuable game, a more valuable DVD, it might be worth my time to go ahead and plug it in and let's see if it works or has any issue or use like a JFJ Easy Pro or something and get it cleaned up. So Yes, I recommend that um, you sell used DVDs and video games and stuff that aren't sealed because there is money there. I recently sold a set of the Pretenders DVDs. It was like four different DVDs or something like that for 150 bucks used. That's a pretty good deal for some used DVDs. And sometimes I sell a $20 used DVD or a 14 or a 12 or whatever. But if I can get them in bulk and, you know, it doesn't take much to list them, doesn't take much to ship them. Uh, media mail shipping is pretty cost effective too, so... I feel like there's some definite money there, and I, I wouldn't have time to test them all. Um, again, I kind of pick and choose the ones that seem to have more wear, probably take the time to test those if they're valuable enough. But if they have kind of no scratching or very, very light, limited scratching, then I'll just move forward and roll with it 
every once in a while someone comes back and gives a return and says they don't work and I'm just kind of stuck taking the return and seeing what happens. And sometimes they return it back and the item works perfectly and I just think they rented it. And then I think there was one time they sent back a DVD that just didn't work. So for whatever reason, it looked good, but there was some kind of an issue. So it's up to you, but that's how I handle it. Hopefully that helps. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.